Alright, I guess this vlog, this video blog, vlog is probably more of interest to, like, artist type people. <clears throat> okay, this is like some weird, like, serendipitous thing happening right now. I don't know if it's the law of attraction in action. It's the secret, right? Like, <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. But, like, in the past, like, what, maybe four days? Maybe five days? Something like that? I've been, like, communicating a lot with, or they've been communicating with me, but it's these art teachers and so on that are speaking to me, like, online, and, like, I'm at, like, kind of a low self-esteem point about my art right now. I just feel, like, completely, like, devastated about, like, my art. Like, I suck, I'm terrible, I'm whatever. Like, I'll look at my art from, like, that I did before and I'd be like, oh, I wish I could do that again. I don't know, maybe that's, like, me, like, destroying myself, I don't know, whatever, but, like, <clears throat> okay, a few years ago, I did these, um, I call them cheat sheets, people usually refer to them as tutorials, but they're cheat sheets about how to draw hands and feet, and I did this because at the time, so many people would, at, you know, would, would make comments to me about, I like the way you draw your hands, I like the way you draw your feet, and I, I, I was mostly getting hand comments at first, and I was just like, kind of like, what, how come people can't draw hands, you know, and I noticed a lot of really, you know, fantastic artists, they would also like, get like, really cranky and like, bitchy about, you know, that they couldn't draw hands, and then there was other times where I had seen other artists who, you know, they were really good artists, but they would always draw their hands the same exact ways, the same simple, easy, you know, hand drawing poses. And I knew all those tricks. I knew all those tricks, like comic book ones and cartoon ones, and even fine art. Like there's just these the same old pose of how to draw a hand over and over again. And I knew it because there were easy ways and easy tricks that I knew. And because I knew it was like a cheater way of doing it, um, you know, I used to cheat and do that. And then after a while I'd feel guilty because I'd be like, you know, I can draw. I should draw better, you know, hands or something. So I would just, you know, push myself to, you know, make, draw better hands. <clears throat> so then when I could draw pretty much a hand in any position that I, that I could think of without even looking at my hands anymore, then to me, I just figured, oh, I, I could draw hands now. Um, so when people were asking me, you know, how do you always draw hands, and it was like the easiest thing, like like the easiest poses, I was like, okay, I have to make like a, some cheat sheets and explain to people why these are the cheaters' way to draw a hand. So I made all these, you know, like cheat sheets about, you know, different poses that you could use over and over again. And if you actually looked at certain artists who were you know, well known. If you looked at their the way that they drew their hands on almost every picture, it was kind of always these same hand positions because they were cheating. You know, and so I started to do these cheat sheets, and um, it's kind of like with me. I always have this delayed effect that when I first do something, nobody cares or nobody notices, and then I just did like two or three or four because it was just in my head. I was just like, okay, I'm gonna do this. So I started doing it. And I just threw it together because it was just so easy. And I was just like, bam, this is it. And I'd write my little thing about it, like, little essay thing. And, you know, if you felt like you're reading, which most people don't feel like reading. <laughs> I wanted to make it as visual as possible because, you know, artists are very visual. You know? And, um, yeah, and then next thing I know, people were asking me about, you know, can you draw feet? I was like, you can't draw feet? You really can't draw feet? So I was like, all right, well, let me finish my hand stuff. So I finished the hand things, and I did feet. Now, I mostly concentrated my hand cheat sheets on the female way of drawing hands. I think that's just easier. Man's way of drawing hands is more, like, angular. In fact, if you look at, if you compare a, a woman's hand to a man's hand, there's there's differences. It's, like, more boxy looking, where women's, like, it's, like, curly and curvy and, you know, I don't know, whatever. <clears throat> so, so yeah, I, I did that, and for, there's this one particular sheet of, it's just miscellaneous, like, hands that I just scribbled on there, and I said, this is miscellaneous, you know, hand picture, right? Now, 
I think it sucks. I think it's ugly, but I just threw it on there be just as an example. Like, to be honest, like, I think they could be better. But that is, like, the favorite one. That is the one that people put on their favorite list the most. That's the one that I get the most um, letters about, comments about, praise about. I think it sucks, but I don't know. I, I can't tell what people really like and r really what they really want, so, eh. So, so yeah, and then, um, it's totally free. If you want these, you know, cheat sheet things, it's free. You can download them, you can share them, you can do whatever you want to do with them, okay? And I have had many, 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 I don't even know how many times, um, people who were art teachers, uh, thank me for doing those and told me that they would print that out and, you know, give it to their students and so on. And I can't even tell you how many times this kind of thing happened. It happened again and again and again and again and again. <laughs> I've had people ask me to do, like, male, to do some masculine hands, do some masculine feet or whatever. But I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of stuff out there, like, that you, like, usually when you buy art books, art books are made by men who think in the men's way of doing things, so I think that balances out, so if you wanted to find out how to do things more manly or masculine, like, you just pick up a book in the library, you know? <clears throat> I mean, mine's more on the feminine side, probably because you can't find that as much, and even when you do find stuff that's feminine, like about how to draw a woman's body or a woman's hands, or it's by a guy, so I don't know. I don't, I don't, do I sound like a feminist now? Ew. Ew, I'm not one of those feminazis. Ah! But yeah, if you want to look at that, that's on the side. And it's really interesting, back to this whole thing with the art teacher theme that I was talking about here. I'm having a bunch of people who are art teachers and so on speaking to me now. This is like, like, how? Why? I don't, I, I don't know. In fact, my teacher, my, like, my mentor teacher, and this is weird because, like, I was, like, you know, I talked to my, like, angels and my spirit guides, like, frequently, or maybe I should speak to them more, I don't know, maybe that's corny new age, whatever, but that's what I do, and, um, I was like, yo, I really feel like I need a mentor, I need to find a master teacher, you know, da 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 and I was thinking about that particular person, you know, <clears throat> there was, like, one other person, really, also, but can't really, you know, get in contact with everybody, but it was that one person, uh, his name was Bill, and he was the teacher of the school, and he was the man. He did all kinds of things just because he, he was like that. He was just very friendly and nurturing and kind, and he just did, he just did things for the good of it, you know, for the love of it. He would take people to go painting and sketching, and he had free open drawing classes all the time. He used to take students out to lunch and dinner as in groups, and he would pay for it. <clears throat> and he never asked for anything back. He just was so nice. He was so nice, and he always gave people uh, good, positive feedback. Good, positive feedback. Even if you had a ugly drawing, he could find the positive side of it. If it, you could be the worst artist in the world, and he could find that um, positive edge about him. And then the thing was, I suddenly got an email from him. I suddenly got an email from him, and he was saying he was trying to contact me, or whatever. Supposedly, he's coming up here to Massachusetts, and he's very funny. He does impressions a lot. He reminds me of, like, Robert De Niro, but he does, like, these really funny impressions and stuff. Yeah, so, <clears throat> I'm trying to call him, and I'm having some weird communication issues. It seems to be my life right now. Communication weirdness. Damn it! It's Mercury Retrograde! It's starting! Freaking A! Ah! But yeah, anyway, so for you artist-type people and so on, I'm sorry if you're not, you don't have to watch this video, but I guess I'm mentioning that too late. Don't. Anyway. But yeah, um, if you want to see the, um, the cheat sheets I did, I mean, don't expect a miracle or anything, they're cheat sheets. They're simple, easy, whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna put the link over in the side, you can take a look. Some people swear they love them. I didn't pay them. I didn't make them do it. They do it themselves. In fact, every day when I come on to, when I sign on to DeviantArt.com to my account, 
that's what's what most people favorite. That or it's furry art or it's unicorns or griffins. But the most thing is the, the, the hands and the feet tutorials. So what I have like what paw and foot in the mouth disease or something in my art. I don't know. Foot in my mouth. Uh, hand in my mouth, finger in my mouth. I don't know. Yes, that's me. Okay. Now I've had some people tell me maybe I should do videos or whatever. I mean, do I really need to? Do I really need to go into a video? I mean, I could. I so totally could. But, like, I mean, it's a cheat sheet. It's, like, there. I don't know. <sighs> Something to think about. Who knows? I don't know. Okay, bye-bye.